Hello third grade, happy Friday. You have made it to your second week of third quarter. Yay, and today we're gonna to be talking about finding the complete subject of a sentence. So yesterday, remember, we learned about our four different types of sentences. We did a statement, which just tells us something, a question, which asks us something, an exclamation sentence, which is just like a statement, but it shows a little more emotion, it shows excitement, and then a command, our fourth one, which tells us something to do or ask us to do something. But now we're going to be talking about sentences and subjects. So every sentence has a complete subject and a complete predicate. The complete subject tells who or what is doing something. It can be one word or it can be more than one word. To find the complete subject in a sentence, we can usually ask ourselves who or what performs the action in the sentence. So this is going to kind of be familiar um, like when we talked about our nouns and finding nouns in, this, nouns in a sentence or pronouns. Our nouns and our pronouns can be our subjects. So I think the best way to go through this is we're going to go over some examples and how we figured it out. So this is just showing a thought process. So if I have the sentence, bean burritos make a great meal. Remember, we can ask the question, what or who? So we're looking at great meal. What makes a great meal? Well, our sentence says bean burritos. Those make a great meal. So bean burritos is our complete subject because that's what the sentence is about. And usually, if I look at this, burritos is our noun. Bean is our adjective. It's describing what, the, describing what kind of burritos. So when we're finding our complete subject, our complete subject includes the words describing the noun. So it's not just burritos, it's bean burritos. It's the word burritos and everything describing the burritos would be our complete subject. That's why they're saying it can be more than one word. So if I said Joshua's road bike is much faster than his mountain bike, I would say I can ask with the question what or who, what is much faster than his mountain bike? Well, Joshua's road bike is much faster. So again, that is our whole complete subject. That is what the sentence is talking about. The sentence is talking about Joshua's road bike. So that's our subject. All three words now, Joshua's, road, and bike. Bike is our main noun, but road and Joshua's describing the bike. So that's considered in our complete subject. So now let's just do our own examples, and this time it's not underlined. We're going to practice saying the question, who or what, with our sentence. So number one, we have spiders have eight legs. So again, I can ask the question, who has eight legs? Spiders do. So spiders, just this one word, is our complete subject. The bright stars sparkled at night. So I'm going to look at my verb, sparkled, because that's how what we did back, I think, all the way in first quarter. We would look at our verb, sparkled. We would ask, what sparkled? The bright stars. Those sparkled. So those would be our complete subject. So it's our noun, stars, and everything that describes the noun, bright and the. Those are both adjectives describing the stars. So that would be considered as our complete subject, all of our subject. Number three, my sister took my clothes. So I'm looking at the verb, who took your clothes? My sister took my clothes. That's going to be our complete subject. I'm saying, I'm asking the question, who? Who took them? My sister. Sister is our noun and my is describing what kind of sister. So that would be included in our complete subject. And our last example today, the shiny blue rocks were lying in the bucket. What was lying in the bucket? So I'm asking with what? The shiny blue rocks. So this complete subject has 
forwards. Because we could say the rocks were lying in the bucket, but remember for our complete subject, we have to take all the words describing our noun as well. So what kind of rocks? The blue rocks, shiny, the rocks, the shiny blue rocks. That is our complete subject. So remember, when you're trying to find the complete subject, it can be more than one word. We're trying to find who or what is doing something. So that's the question we can ask. We can find our verb and say, who or what is doing this? And that's how we find our complete subject. All right, take your time reading the sentences. Don't forget to ask yourself that question and then think through who or what is doing this. All right, have a great rest of your day. Happy Friday, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye, third grade.